Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go into the Intense fire steam caves. Rise where you're from the cave and from before you. Red. Try to get through these before the monk and favored soul get home. I'm gonna go ahead and take a hireling out for this. I know they're not the best in this quest, but I might need extra. Give us both fire proc. The air here is hot and stinks of brimstone. Vile fumes sting your eyes. Man suddenly oozes. The great oozes really have kind of stopped splitting. Oh, look at that, Rem. Well, way to go, Fergus. From beyond the door come low, chanting voices. I really don't need remnants anymore. Like I got the two things I really wanted. I mean, earth. I got so many tunes that really go after all the tones. That's crazy. Throw a bunch of switches. On a ledge, high above the lake of magma, you sense something unholy and foul. Oh, wow. Thank you. Huh. Almost. open the gate, but we have to go up and destroy the devourer altar. All these fun little ledges. The altar of the dragon below like lies Mario. ahead, humming with evil power. As the first altar crumbles, a dark presence seems to gather just beyond the edges of your vision. The dragon below awakes. Now, down here... Whoa! I almost slipped right off. Down here, not only is there an adventures pack, but there is a super secret hidden treasure chest. And it's worth the Tales of Valor, so it can't be that. In this quest, if you take a hireling, be sure to kind of make them follow you. They have a tendency to get lost in the lava. Are you just snipe them? They're getting lost. Go away, Cove. I know those of you are getting something out of it. Have fun. The Cove's not bad. Oh, it fell into it. Stupid guy fell into a pit. Gotta shoot him before he casts his protection from. I guess he's not going to do that. Sometimes they do that now. A second altar rests at the end of this cavern. Its power makes bile rise in your throat. So do milkshakes the second after altar breaks, eleven. And you feel a faint tremor below your feet. The dragon stirs. Seriously, it's the worst thing about being in summer in Bakersfield is I can't have a 
milkshake too late at night, otherwise. Well, let's just leave it there. Hey, a deadly fever, my blanche. I'll use the two switches to open the door so you can progress further. Run down the long corridor to do the side quest. The mechanic is slowly kind of going away. Every now and then they bring it back for one quest in a pack. There's no longer like five. Yeah, five possible quests. The air grows more stifling, the sulfurous stench more nauseating. The heart of the mountain lies ahead. Pump up with rage. Think about letting Fergus kill this guy, see if we got another round. Fergus. Yeah, you can go down that way, but eh, I never do. It's easier to do it this way. Oh, these methods are well, it's a house. Out and touch someone, didn't he? But now he's behind a wall, and so it won't do jack. And there were three. A howl greets you from across the chasm. Make more of my shaman of the dragon below thunders with rage. As make more of falls, he shouts something in an eldritch language. The stones echo his words, then are still. I'm gonna go over here and get Mac Marug's chest. It is pretty easy. You just now snipe the last one. Altar collapses in the dark presence. Alright, that's the first half of the stone's run red. The dragon below's power is. First half of the fire caves, the stone runs red. Now, one of the neat things is after you do the quest, and I'm going to do it now because the second one's harder, is that just for fun, if you want, there is a little bit of a jump puzzle for an entrance out. I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and do it today. I think there's a collectible up here too. If, you know, you're super into that. Just a nice little Easter egg. Whew, made the jump. I got almost no jump. See, there's a little mushroom. And the way out. All right, that was Stones Run Red. Eat and steam rise from...